Hey everybody, Julie here from Mostly Caffeinated. I wanted to do a little bit of an intro for this video. Um, if you're one of those people who cares about what people look like in their videos, well then, mm, you're going to be disappointed by my hair today. Today was a hot mess. Um, I'm filming this a few days in advance, so if you've checked out my Instagram recently, you've seen this hot mess of a situation. <laughs> and oh my I look like this today but anyway I wanted to intro this video which you can tell from the title is about fall thrifted fashion um this is kind of I don't know if it's it's not really a collab I don't know it's a thing <laughs> that some people are doing um started by Patricia Keel who's one of my favorites on YouTube um, and then I don't have a lot of things to show you because I am still trying to do, you know, a minimal, a capsule wardrobe. Um, and I am still nursing and I have a bunch of fall winter nursing clothes because my first two babies were born in the fall. So I have plenty of stuff, but I do have a few new pieces that I've gotten to just kind of refresh. Some of them were sort of summery, but they're going to transition really well. And that's really exciting. And then a couple are, you know, just straight up fall. But I thought I would do a little bit of an introduction, um, because if you don't know that I keep a capsule wardrobe or whatever, it's going to seem like, yeah, why are you bothering with a haul with, you know, like four pieces? <laughs> but to me, that's about as many things as I ever buy to start a new season. Um, most of my stuff comes from my local Goodwill. If I had a more like small business thrift store to shop at, I would. I don't have one. So corporate thrifting it is, which I know it's like a whole can of beans these days. There's all kinds of, you know, data and opinions about nonprofit companies and blah, blah. The way I figure it, it's the best I can do. I don't have a small business thrift store that I can shop at. I don't have friends my size that we can do a clothing swap. So my choices are buy new or buy from a bad um, thrift store, you know, ethics-wise, whatever. I figure at least this way I'm not creating more environmental trash and I'm not spending more money than I need to. So maybe it's not, you know, the greatest nonprofit, but it's what I can do. And then one of my pieces that I'm going to show you actually came from Poshmark, which technically isn't thrifting. Um, it's not thread up because I'm not one of those people who has hooked up with thread up to do sponsored posts or whatever. And I'm not, this is not a sponsored post by Poshmark by any means. I've been using Poshmark to buy and sell for, uh, I don't know, over a year. Uh, mostly just because I have a lot of things I needed to get rid of, and a lot of them were really good pieces, so I thought I would try to sell them, and I have sold a lot of them, and that's nice. And I've bought a few very specific things off Poshmark, things where I know exactly what I want, and it's an expensive brand, or it's no longer produced, or I can't find it in the thrift store, so I go hunting for it. So one of my pieces I did go hunting for on Poshmark because I knew I really wanted one and I got it. So um, one of the things that I need to show you, I'm actually, is on my body right now. So I better show you that because I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I know I have pictures of it, but in case I decide to hold up the rest of the things later, I've got to gotta show you these now because I'm wearing them. You can't even see them. Whoop, they're these pants. Um, they've been on my Instagram a lot of times lately. There's like a flowy rayon pant with kind of this, I don't know what this is, print. It's like a striped print, and then at the bottom it's got kind of a more involved... I don't know what this... I really can't describe this. It's like a mandala thing. Kind of uh, Hindi-looking print? I really don't know. Um, and they've got a string, but the string doesn't actually do anything. It's just decorative. They're elastic waist. They've got pockets. They're fantastic, let me tell you. These things are from Dress Barn originally, which I know Dress Barn is not like normally a thing for people of my demographic, but let me tell you, I had a teacher that I worked with one time who swore by Dress Barn, and I have found that Dress Barn's items are very flattering um, as I've been thrifting things. I don't have a lot of them, but I do have a few. These are the most comfortable pants I've ever put on in my life. I don't even like pants. I don't usually wear pants. Usually it's dresses, or in the fall and winter, leggings and dresses, or leggings and tunics. Like, pants are not really a thing that happened for me, but these pants are fantastic. They feel like I'm on vacation, 
they kind of look like a beach kind of pant. And they're soft and light and they're warm enough and cool enough at the same time. And I just want to wear them every single stinking day. Which is why I'm wearing them today on like hot mess day. <laughs> but I love them. Anyway, so there's those. And then I've got a cardigan which came off Poshmark. And a dress that I got from Goodwill that's just, I don't even, I can't even explain to you how like wonderful and perfect this dress is. It is... It is delightful. <laughs> um, and then I think I might have another thing or two to dig up. We'll see. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hold the things up for you. Um, and then if I can, I'll insert some pictures of me actually wearing the items because I know it's a heck of a thing to try to look at clothes like this when I'm just sitting and holding them up for you. But first, this cardigan which is the thing I bought off Poshmark, so it's not really thrifting. But I didn't pay full price, and I didn't get it brand new. So, let's see if I can hold this up in any semblance of seeing what it looks like. Can you tell what that looks like? Sort of? No? <laughs> it's just, it's a jersey cardigan, and it's open front and straight. Not, not that, like, drapey thing in the front. But it's got these kind of pleats that make there be extra fabric. And sort of a shawl collar type of thing that's loose. It's Kishé brand, which is not a brand that I was familiar with until I bought the first one of these. <laughs> now, as much as I have a capsule wardrobe, I own two of this exact same cardigan, but in different colors. Which is not normally a thing I do, because I find I only ever wear, you know, one of something, even if I have it in multiple colors. But with this cardigan, I did. I've had a navy blue cardigan like this for over a year, and I wear it constantly. It's the only cardigan I ever want to wear. So I went on Poshmark to find one more because my baby throws up on me like every day. <laughs> so instead of wearing the same cardigan for like three or four days, I can only wear it for one day and I have to wash it. So I wanted a second one of that, my favorite cardigan. It doesn't shrink. It doesn't pill. It doesn't like roll. Um, it's, it's finished on the edges. It's got kind of like a little scallop thing going on. So it doesn't like roll up or anything crazy. It fits perfectly. It is long enough to wear, I mean, it's open in the front, so I don't wear this as the only long thing over leggings, but it's nice and long, so it hangs nicely over my dresses and tunics, um, and it's a perfect, like, medium weight. Oh my goodness, it's so soft. I just, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. So I went looking for this specifically on Poshmark, because I knew I wanted the exact same cardigan I already had. Then, this dress, oh my this worked really well as a summer piece, an end of summer piece, but with the colors, um, it's great for fall too. And I'll just I'll throw a cardigan over it, like the blue, <laughs> the blue cardigan. Um, but it is this dress, and now I didn't button it all the way up, but it buttons completely up the front, functional buttons, and it's kind of a midi length. It's got nice big pockets here, and it's all very structured. There's a lot of seaming and stuff going on in the bus, and it's got a nice wide strap. This is so perfect. When I put this on, I couldn't get over how perfect this was. The fit is perfect. It's big enough in the hips and small enough up top that it's not like gapping anywhere. The bus line is flattering. It's kind of a, I don't know, I don't know if it's really a sweetheart. It's princess seams, but it's not too low. It's like a perfect amount of close to the body and high enough that it's not showing any cleavage. It's not showing any of my bra. It's it's genius. And functional buttons all the way up the front, so it works for nursing, even though it's a nice fitted dress on the top. I can't get over this thing. And I thought this was so wonderful. And I was like, you know, where did this come from? What is this brand? Why can't I find anything else like this? And I looked it up. And it's Starina. It's a 90s dress. Of course it's perfect. Everything from the 90s is perfect. The 90s clothes always fit me well. Um, they always have the features I'm looking for, like a dark floral and functional buttons and pockets. So there's this. Oh my goodness. So good. And then the last thing that I thrifted specifically um, to have new and fresh is this. Uh, maybe I should button it. Why don't I ever button anything? Sorry, guys. But it's this gap. 
I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a dress or a tunic. It's um, it's made of like a, I don't know, like a cotton, kind of like a poplin shirt, like a men's dress shirt would be. And it, it's got functional buttons to the waist. And it's kind of, it's a tunic style. Like it's, it's loose and it's got, you know, a real simple cuff and a real simple collar. It's got some fun pleats down the back that help make it more fitted and interesting. And it's kind of this blue gray color. It's a couple inches above the knee, which for some people I'm sure would be a dress, but to me is a tunic um, between my body type and the number of children I have and the fact that my husband is a parochial school principal. I don't wear anything that short without leggings underneath, but it's a great um, lightweight material. So it works as kind of a late summer piece if I don't wear any kind of sweater over it. I just put that in leggings. Um, when it gets cooler, I can put a sweater over it and or a tank top underneath, under it and make it even warmer. And it's got no collar. Now, I do love me this chambray shirt, but most things with collars interfere with my wearing of scarves, and I really love scarves. So I like collarless things, but the buttons make it nursing friendly. And I don't know, it's just, it's a great color. It's a great kind of neutral, um, which in a capsule wardrobe is what you need. I wanted a few more like dresses slash tunics, since I do wear a lot of leggings and just longer shirts. I wanted things that were a little bit dressier, try to up my game a little bit so it's not just giant plaid shirt and leggings every day. So that was what I was going for with my four new pieces. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I thrifted. Let me know down below if you did this video too, or if you have you know an Instagram that shows some fall thrifted pieces or a blog or something, um, and let me know what you guys have been up to. I actually did an outro, so let's go to the outro now.